Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to part two of this mini series on creating a private shop in PrestaShop and 30Bs. Today we will see how to prevent orders from not registered customers, which is also necessary in case you applied the previous tutorial and are actually using a one pay checkout. Now, the simplest way to proceed would be to enable catalog mode for those visitors. So why don't we go ahead and try that. In my present shop root, I will reach classes controller front controller.php. Now I marked my modification already. So what I did was going ahead and adding a variable here. So I uh, I took this code here from down here, I replaced it with catalog mode and assigned it right up here. Now what I can do with this variable is basically check if there is a customer ID in the context and if not I will set catalog mode to true so I'll go ahead and save it now you can see my prices and cart buttons are displaying if I refresh they're gone and this might be everything you need to do in case it's okay for you although you can see the uh, the cart is still up here so you might want to follow until the very end of the tutorial now this presents a problem for those of you who instead want to display prices. So if you're one of those people, then tag along because we will add, uh, we'll find another way uh, to do this. Now I'll comment out my modification and proceed to disable the add to cart button only instead. Of course, we need to make sure it's disabled across the whole store, but fortunately the product class is all we need to modify so I will create an override for this in my root folder override classes if you don't have one just create product.php with capital P I will open it up then make sure you open PHP tags then class product extends product core and this is valid in case you don't know for any class you want to override so it's class name core now what I want to do here is grab the original product class, so classes product, and copy its construct method. Actually copy its construct definition since it's pretty long. So why not just copy it? And now what I want to do here is call, first call the parent of course, so parent construct. I'll go ahead and get rid of the default here. Get rid of this and add a semicolon. Our code is uh, actually really simple and concise. So the only thing we need to do is, if not, context get context customer ID. So if there is no customer ID, basically if the customer is not logged in, I will disable available available for order so I will set it to false and this is basically what we need to do for the product page now for the product list instead this property is set somewhere else and specifically in the get product properties method so let's hop to that one I'll go back to my product class and find get product properties so this time I'll just copy the whole method make sure it's copied until the end paste it in our override wherever you like wherever you like and at the very end right before uh, the self product properties cache assignment I want to add some more code so if not again context but this time I do have a context variable so I will use it I was not sure I had it before so I just used the um, the general context so if this context customer ID again this time around I will set row which represents a product and uh, in uh, in form of an array in this case available for order again yes you probably guessed it false I will save and we're basically done with the 
add to cart button. So we can stop here, but I will take a further step and disable the cart module as well. So I will hop to my modules block cart block cart.php file. I will look for hook right column. And again, at the very beginning, I will just copy from here. If in this case, this, because we have this in the context, if this context customer ID is not set, I will just return false. Now, if you didn't have an override for testing, go back, make sure you clean your class index.php file, so just get rid of it. Now, I'll refresh, and you will see the prices are here and the buttons are not. I will reach product page, everything fine, and you can see the cart block is gone as well. Now, let me sign in just to make sure everything works as expected, and it does. Everything is back. Buttons are back, and the cart block is back. Great, so this is everything for today's video and this also concludes this two-part series. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop and 30Bs tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.